to Columbia Beach. My name is Faye Belt, and I am living at the Gym of the Bay. Columbia Beach was founded in 1940, and it was a community of predominantly African Americans from Baltimore and Washington, D.C., 30 miles from Annapolis City. We're on the end of Shady Side Peninsula. A husband and wife from PG County discovered this property. It was during the time of segregation and they brought the properties here and they were selling the lots for $10 a piece. And as the people started to come from Washington and Baltimore, they would pick their lots and they would create and build their homes. It was a place that we felt safe. It was a place that we all was allowed to come and swim and boating, fishing, crabbing, laughter without being ostracized. My mother came home and asked myself and my dad to come down. We came to this beautiful community and a gentleman came up and he says, are you interested in buying land? My mother said yes. He showed her several properties. The properties that she felt comfortable and fell in love with was 1515 Crowner Road. My dad reviewed the property and his mind started to design mentally and spiritually among the trees that were there. Memorial Day, they come in droves and cars and bikes and boats, preparing their community homes for the summer. And as we progressed to this community, we found out that Columbia Beach Day, which is always on around July, the first weekend. And that's when they had the last regatta in 1982. That the regatta is boats, boat races, queens, people dressed up in beautiful dresses. And they were visited by different people from all races from uh, Baltimore and Washington, D.C. with speedboats. I was asked to be the president. During that time, I had to knock on every door to fulfill what's needed in Columbia Beach. And as I did that, volunteers came forth. It was a beautiful time. And as we progressed to move on and have our meetings quarterly, as a community association, we created wonderful things, opening the pond, and all those things had to be uh, in our future so we would have less erosion on our community. We had to do evaluations for culverts that needed to be done so for the water can run back into the bay. We had to do beautiful landscaping, upgrading, helping the community to take pride in their yards. And during that time, we had amazing, wonderful, with my connections out of the community to bring in the political people there were in office. And this is the first time that happened in Columbia Beach. We had Senator Sarah Elford here. We had Stuart Pittman here. We had other engagements of people that were here. Anne Arundel County Public Planning and Zoning was here. And during that time, as I was stepping down, I had to do something that really needed for our community, and that's to recognize our historical documentation. And that documentation that we were given on my last 2023, July the 1st, was given an award for preservation of our heritage that was established in 1940 through planning and zoning. And as I moved forth also, before I stepped down, that we were asked during my first administration, are we, could we be interested in the American Historical Trust? And that was under the Blacks of the Chesapeake. And so as we went forth, we went through all the things that we needed for documentation. As I dwell back into the past, I feel as though that it was very significant to find this property and to create a safe haven. We created such a space that we could feel safe, we could eat, we could party, we could worship. They had church back at Al Jones' home. We have a beautiful place that we can worship 
And we were not worrying about police coming in, taking us to prison or to jail to tell us what we couldn't do. Moving forward, as I linked up, as I left the community, I met this wonderful lady, Dr. Carl Benson, Chesapeake Crossroads, who's involved with all the historical documentation of African-American communities. And I also want to thank Linda Marshall, an amazing African-American historian in that area, along with Jane Cox of the Historic Preservation Program, Planning and Zoning, for the critical help in our obtaining the historical documentation of African-American communities. And I learn so much as we move forward to receive awards and to receive recognition under the Chesapeake Crossroads. And I'm continue to learn through Chesapeake Crossroads each month the importance of our heritage and documentation that needs to fulfill and will be here forever.